In this week's Tablet Tip Tuesday, I'm going to show you how to create an aggregated extract. These are useful because they make your extracts smaller, faster, they reduce the burden on your Tableau server when you need to refresh extracts, plus they only contain the dimensions that you really need. So let's get started with showing you how to make one of these. So I'm going to start by connecting to the Chicago Taxi data that we used for Makeover Monday week 3. If I look at how many records are in this data set, it's going to be about 105 million if I type the password in correctly. Now, we don't, we don't need all 105 million records for our visualization. Let's go ahead and build a couple of charts first. We know number of records represents a number, number of trips. So let's say we want to look at the number of trips by month. Okay, and we can see those are on the decline, and we have January 2017 is a month we don't need. Well, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to edit my data source filters, and I'm going to add a data source filter to get rid of January 2017. Go ahead and exclude that. Hit OK. And now that's gone from my data source. <clears throat> Not from my, from, uh, my data source in Tableau. All right, so let's go ahead and get rid of the title here. And we'll call this uh, monthly trips are on the decline. So I like giving my sheets nice names so that they, uh, they show up nicely when we put them in the dashboard. Okay, I can go ahead and remove the title or the access title there. Great. Okay, and then maybe we'll, what we want to do here is just label the most recent point. Very good. Okay, <clears throat> so maybe the next thing we want to do is perhaps we want to look at uh, the most common community area, the most common pickup area. So I could do that and go ahead and put number of records and sort that. All right, and we've got this one called mess for privacy. So I think what I'm going to do is, uh, let's, well, we'll just go ahead and leave that in there for now. But actually, I'm going to go ahead and create a calculated field that gives me the root. Or not a calculated field. Let's go ahead and, yeah, let's create a calculated field. That is my root. And it's going to simply be the pickup area plus a dash plus a drop all. All right, and what we're going to look at is actually our most popular route. So let's filter that. And we want to go ahead and get rid of any of the uh, pickup or drop off community areas that contain um, this mask for privacy. So let's go ahead and let's create a, uh, uh, let's go ahead and create a set on our pickup community area. And we want to eliminate our Mask for privacy, drag that onto the set. And then we want to do the same thing for our drop off. Okay, so now those are out of my view, and now we have routes that we can actually look at. And uh, in this case, uh, let's maybe look at the, let's go ahead and put these in context, both of these. And then let's just look at the top 10 routes. So let's filter our root to January 10 ends all top 10. Okay, and we can go ahead and turn on our mark labels on that. And maybe on our labels, let's go ahead and left align those so they're inside the bars. <clears throat> okay, it's good. And we can maybe make the font white so we can see it a little bit better. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and hide the header. And then do a bit of formatting here. Now let's just leave back on whatever we're in. Okay, let's get rid of that. And let's say, uh, what are the top roots? All right. Maybe the next thing we want to do is maybe we want to look at the um, average tip versus the average uh, versus the average fare. So I'm going to drag tip on, make it average. Drag the fare on, make that average. And let's see which route has the biggest uh, average.
average fare. Okay, so let's go ahead and um, <clears throat> we can go ahead and create some clusters maybe because that's a fun feature to use in Tableau. All right, and let's say we want to do, let's say four. Okay, so uh, these are, uh, and let's go ahead and uh, let's see. So let's, let's actually look at instead of uh, the fare, let's look at the miles. So let's go ahead and look at the average trip miles. Okay, we've got this one really interesting outlier here. Average tip is zero. Okay, so maybe we should filter out anything that um, has at least one penny. Okay, there we go. That looks a little bit better. And let's make our marks circles. All right, and uh, let's turn on a little bit of transparency. Okay, something like that. You get the idea. Okay, so that's average trip miles, and then we could put number of records maybe on size. Okay, and there's a couple of massive trips here that I don't really like that, so I'm going to undo. Okay, so let's see. Uh, does distance impact tip? Okay, so we've got that, and then uh, maybe the last thing we want to do is perhaps we want to look at uh, which companies are... Um, are um, doing the most business. So let's put company on the rows. And in this case, maybe we want to know um, maybe the average, which companies get the best tips. So let's take the average tip. And let's go ahead and sort that. And then let's go ahead and filter this to the top 10. which companies get the best tips. Okay, great. So now we have that. Let's go ahead and turn our labels on again. And let's uh, left align those. And let's go ahead and make font white. Okay, there we go. So we know which ones make the best, get, are the best, uh, have the best tips. Okay, perfect. All right, so now we want to throw this together onto a um, onto a dashboard, and let's just say we want to make it maybe 800 by 600, something like that. Let's turn our title on because we're going to need that in a minute, and I'm just going to double click my sheet, so I'm not really worried about this being fancy for the purposes of this um, demonstration here. And let's go ahead and make that fit entire view, fit entire view. Okay, great. So now we have our, uh, <clears throat> maybe let's put this one up here and let's move this one down so these are next to each other. Okay, I like that a little bit better. All right, nothing particularly great. Um, uh, let's see. So actually, we're looking at, uh, let's just call this our Chicago Taxi. Rides are on the decline. Something like that. I would normally give this a much better title, but for demonstration purposes, let's just leave it like this for now. Okay, so <clears throat> what we want to do now to create the aggregated extract is just go back to any of these sheets. It doesn't really matter which one. You're going to click on the triangle next to dimensions, and you're going to hide all unused fields. This is very important because now it only keeps the dimensions and measures that we're actually using. From there, we go ahead and uh, we look at, um, we go up to right click on the data source and choose extract data. And you apply any filters that you want here. So in our case, uh, the only filter we want to add is that excluding January 2017. And the important bit is to tick this box that says aggregate data for visible dimensions. So basically we're gonna aggregate the data up to each of these dimensions. And then you want to roll it up to the lowest um, uh, date dimension that you're using in your view. So in our case, we're using monthly trips. So I'm going to pick month here. And we're going to do all rows. And then we just click on extract. 
OK. We just accept the warning message. And it's going to ask us to save it somewhere. And I'll just uh, go ahead and save it to uh, let's go. I'm just change this one to Monday. No, nope, let's put it in uh, two days, I guess. And we'll save it there. And now the extract's running. And this is um, uh, uh, Robin Kennedy helped me with this the other day. It's really, really useful. So you can see how quick it's going. Uh, so the original data source was 105 million records. And you can see how quickly um, XSL is create, ex creating this extract and, and allowing que Tableau to query the data. OK, so within just a few seconds, our extract is done. And this is a really neat thing. I'm going to create a new sheet. And if I use number of records, we would think that it would go down to the size of the extract that we just created. But let's go ahead and drag that into the view. Notice it still says 105 million. So from an aggregate level, Tableau still knows that. But if we want to know the number of rows that are actually in our extract, we would create a, uh, a new field. And it's going to be very similar to number of records. We'll just call it, I'll just call it records. And it's just going to be one. And now when I put sum of one in the view, you'll see our extract is now has gone from 105 million records to 637,000. So if we do a little math on that, we could do, uh, let's do records, uh, sum of records, divided by sum of number of records. And this will tell us how much it's actually gone down. And let's go ahead and make this a percentage. All right, now we can see we're now at 0.61 the size of the original data source. 0.61% the size. So much, much faster. And uh, that's about it. So the, again, the key steps are to first hide your unused fields. Right click on your data source and choose extract. And you will add any extract filters. And then just do your roll up and aggregate dimensions from there. So I hope you found that helpful. And if you're using Makeover Monday, doing Makeover Monday this week on the XSL Chicago taxi data, and you're connecting live to uh, XSL before you publish the Tableau Public, which has a 15 million record limit. Go ahead and follow this process and you'll be able to publish your final piece. All right, that's it. Have a great day.